saloons. We've met the latest BMW M3 before. Every single aspect of the car has been carefully, finely tuned by the motorsport boffins at M Division. It may cost £50,625, but it's a very easy buying decision to make. We're talking 420 horsepower and one of the most advanced V8s in the world. But now there's a rival, the ultimate C-Class, the Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG. It costs just £700 more than the BMW, but in return you get a hand-built 6.2-litre V8 with 457 horsepower. So, which is best? Well, we've got three tests to find out. So, Tiff, just on instinct, without any car turning a wheel, what do you reckon is going to win? Well, that M3 is amazing. I drove it last year, I was absolutely blown away. But I actually think that today, the Merc's going to win. Really? Why is that then? Because that's what I'm going to be driving. The first test lets us play traffic cop and use the fifth gear speed gun to find out which car reaches the highest top speed on the straight. The pressure's on to drive perfectly as we'll only get one go each. Christ, it's quick. Listen to it, eight and a half thousand revs. 120 miles an hour already. A wailing V8 sounding glorious. 126. 36 miles an hour! <laughs> wow! Well, what did the speedo say? Well, somewhere between 130 and 140, but nearer You weren't looking, were you? were worried about braking for <laughs> so. I did brake a bit too early. 136 miles an hour. Well, that's not bad. Uh, my turn. Room for improvement. So, 136 miles an hour to beat. This is going to be easy. You see, Jason doesn't do his homework. I've got 50% more torque. 600 newton metres. It gets to 62, a fifth of a second quicker, so it must be faster in a straight line. Here comes the old boy. 100, 120, 30. I was a bit late on the brakes. I can see why Jason chickened out. <laughs> so come on, come on. I've only got KPH on this, so it was like 230. Yeah, don't worry about it. It sounds Then don't fantastic. worry about it. No, there's no need to. The, it sounds the, fantastic. The speed was... 138. <laughs> And I reckon I'm going to beat you on the past no. starting. I know the M3 is good, but whoa! No way! Not a chance! Not a chance! <laughs> you wait, you wait, you wait. So, having established that the Merc is the car that will earn you the lengthiest ban, it's time for our second test. Which car is the biggest crowd pleaser? We'll get two attempts at drifting, and we'll mark each other out of ten, <laughs> depending on skill <laughs> and smoke. Turn it and power and. And go that way. <laughs> We're not supposed to be on this grassy bit. What happened? Is that part of the game? Do I get any score for that at all? Uh, no, no score, I'm afraid. My second and final attempt. Slightly more measured, you see there. And then what one was it? Lock stops, lock yeah. stops. Back to the lock stops, lock stops, and then just take lock stops off and. Yeah, but it's stuck. Yeah, look at the smoke, look at the smoke behind it. It's still, look at it's still, look at it's still sliding, see? But I reckon. Look at the smoke and give me 10 points. I can't give you 10 points for that, Tiff. I can't. It is good fun, I will give, give it that, but I don't think it's a controlled slide. We're going to have to third party mark, because if you're not going to agree that I quite obviously won the pass, no, I simply can't. I can't agree that. I'll have to get some Japanese drift or judges <laughs> to come and tell you you're wrong. He's coughing, that bloke. For sheer spectacle, I suppose it has to be a 10. Although the C63 is so tail happy, it makes drifting easy. The M3, well, that requires much more talent. <laughs> Oh, all the big throws. Oh, OK, yeah, you've got the apex steps on you, but now it's going to go... Oh! Nah, that wasn't bad. That's not a side. You've got that sideways. That's a 
about a five out of ten. Nicely balanced at the end. What do you mean? A, a, a five four. out of ten. Much more attitude on the, on the transition. Left to right. Hey, at least I got this to buy the Edith Berman likes it. Who turned that on? I don't know. On the steering wheel. Silly buttons on the steering wheel. Turn the radio on. Runs out of grunt, needs another 200 horsepower. Yeah, um, that was good though. I, mean, I must admit, I know what you mean, you wanted to keep the slide going for yeah, longer. Yeah, for longer, you see. Which means you can't go sideways. It's worth a 9.5. Nothing wrong with Jason's technique, but with the M3's diff better preventing excessive wheel spin, it just doesn't create as much visual drama as the Merc. Time for the final, most important round. Which car is the nicest to drive when it comes to high speed, on the limit racing, lap after lap? Let's dogfight and find out. I'll tell you what, look, the Merc is the quicker beast. <laughs> Two sideways, but <laughs> he's just... Come back inside him. Here we go, we've got him now. Oh, he's just driven up the inside of me. And we've got him. Oh. <laughs> oh, we pulled miles on him. What that tells me is the Merc's a bit of a handful on the way into the corners. The BM handles better. It's not as quick in a straight line. Neat, 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 neat. No sideways. Nicely done. I can't get on the band, it understeers across the grass. And <laughs> that's, that I did him work. But it would appear nimbleness is on the BMW side still. Fantastic. Change down when I want you to go neat, go tidy, and I'll get understeer. Try and do his speed, and I get understeer one way into the other. It would appear I'm in dead trouble. It doesn't look good on the road down there. Through the pit back, the back's going out a bit, swipe waves and... Ah! Oh, got a bit, a bit of power down on the exit. Lap after lap, it's clear that the BMW M3 is the better track car. The wayward Mercedes, with all its brutish power, is great fun, but the M3, with its perfect balance, is a deadly serious tool.